Hello, Mr. Eric, Mr. Ryan. Are you alright? Yeah? We're given a positive integer within a, in the format of string. And then we also give a, a single digit like 1. So, can you tell me, you can remove any 1 in here, and the result should be the maximum. So if we can, get what you're even talking so about. how many ones in this? Two, obviously. Okay, so which one remove? By removing the second one. By removing the second one, what we got is one, two, three, four. Why by removing the first one, what we got is two, three, one, four. Since two, three, one, four is bigger than one, two, three, four, so you need to tell me it's two, three, one, four. Got it? Got it? It's exactly the same. Why is this exactly the same? This number, 22,000 is bigger than 1,000. What do you mean exactly the same? Oh, I, you, okay. What if there's not the number in there? Good question. That's a very good question to ask. It, then you just return... Nothing. Return itself. Return 1, 2, 3, 1, 4. That's why right. if, this, I, if this is like 9, for example. Okay? Simple. Okay, another example. 5, 5, 6... Five, two, three, one. If we want to remove the five, so which five remove gives the the maximum? The second one, the third one. The third one. Yeah. If you remove this one, that will be five, five, six, two, three, one. Yeah. If we remove the first one or the second one, it's all the same. Yeah? Five, six, five, two, three, one. Which one is bigger? Yeah. It's a two. Got it. Two. What do you mean two? Because you can do the first and second one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So you just pick, so you just the thing is that you need to tell me this number. Yeah, it doesn't. You don't need to tell me which number, which five it did it. Got it? Mm. Okay, simple. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Uh, you look at the number. That's right. First of all, look, look at numbers. If and it has one, one of them, then easily just that one. Obviously. Okay. Okay. That's that's a very good point. Yeah. That's a very clever solution. We go through each digit. If this digit is the thing that uh, we can delete, right? Then we try to delete it to see what number we can get. Blue fourteen. Blue fourteen, and we maintain it. Right? Okay. So look, this number. Yeah. So this is the one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if we want to remove this the digit. So this is i, this is index i. So we want to remove the digit. Sorry? So well, s equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we want to remove the index i, i which is here, right? So what we can do is look, is s up to i, not including, right? Not including this digit. Plus s i plus 1 to the end, right? i plus 1 is here to the end. So basically what we are saying, by removing the, the index, the character index 3, we are using the string concatenation up to i is 1, 2, right? Look, s up to i is 1, 2, s i plus 1 to the end is 4, 5. So s up to i, this bit, plus s i plus 1 to the end, this bit, 1, 2 plus 4, 5. It's the same thing as removing 3, okay? Yeah, got it. So simple. So we can just do this. Yeah, today is basically this is a simple question. Yeah. This is the question to test your Python, the list, the string concatenation. Yeah. Define, let's say, max remove. remove. Okay, let's say we have given these numbers, num, and we did given this the k. Okay, so at the beginning, answer. You know, because these are, we are only given this the positive integer, right? So we can just can compare two numbers by using compare uh, by comparing the their string format. So what all, what I'm saying is that one two three is bigger than one zero one, right? This is the same thing as one two three, the integer bigger than one zero one is the same. Yeah, so we can co either compare. Because we are given this uh, string, right? we can compare directly the string, or we can convert it to integer. Right? So if this 1, 2, 3, if we can convert it to int, this will give out 1, 2, 3. This is the numerical format, this is a string. Vice versa, so we use the str functions, 1, 2, 3. 
this will give us one, two, three. Okay, so this is the basic. Look, look. one, two, three. This is a string. We use the int, then that will give us the numerator one, two, three. In the opposite way, one, two, three. This is the number. We put the str stands for string. We got the quote one, two, three. When I said a quote, it's a string, it's not a number. But we can compare the number, the string, yeah, or the numerical value. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So answer equals at the beginning we got nothing, right? Okay. But okay, so the, the thing is that previously Ryan you asked a very good question. What what ha what happened if K is not in numbers, yeah? Yeah? So we have to make a special case for that to, to check. Okay, so that, that I'll talk about that. Yeah. So look, answer equal that. Then if we all for i j in enumerate. Okay, what's enumerate? I talk about I use this function a lot. Enumerate. What's that mean? Uh, index and values. Yeah, index and value. Index and value. Basically, this is a very helpful, useful function. So we don't have to use it, but by using that, yeah, we can get the index and the value at the same time. If we, we don't use the enumerate, we have to do this for i in range length number, then j would be num i, okay? But by using this, the, we make our code much cleaner. For i j, this is the tuple, yeah, tuple. Tuple is basically like a immutable list. What's immutable? What's immutable? Anybody? Can't change it. Yeah, what's the opposite of it? Immutable. Yeah, immutable. Im means the opposite. Okay, so for i j, i is the index, j is the value. Okay, so now we check if j equal equal k. Okay, yeah, k. Suppose this is the string, yeah, uh, a character. If j character, if current j character is the character we can remove, right? Then we can do this answer equals max answer. We want to get the maximum answer. Answer. What do we do? We remember we we talk about this, yeah, to get a. Uh, S equals a string, eh? a string, any string, right, Eric? And this is the index i we want to remove. So how do we remove it? S up to i plus s i plus one to the end. Okay? Yeah. I mean, Ryan, Ryan, to get this point, we want to remove the string. Remove the index i character from the string s. What we what we did is what we use the string concatenation. So basically, we are saying that okay, we are using the characters up to i, and then we skip this character i, and then we use the character from i plus one to the end, right? So this is this is the way to remove this i character from the string. Then answer max answer num up to i plus num i plus one, yeah, and then return answer. Okay. So look, if we, if k is not here, then we return num, right? So we probably can check. We can answer if answer else, yeah, else num, right? Okay. We can change these into one num, yeah. So we can just say return maximum, maximum, what? maximum of num up to i plus num i plus 1 to the end for i j in enumerate num if j equal equal k okay okay any questions so far so so does this handle the case that when the k is not in nums so if it's not in nums okay look so look if j is in not in nums so look when we call this max something we want to get the maximum element from a list, yeah, on from a list. If the list is empty, then there will be a problem. When the list is empty, we we try to get a maximum, and then there will be a problem, right? Because the list is empty. Let's what what when the j when the k is not in the list. So in this case, we have to put a second parameter, which is default. We can say default equals none. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that when the k is not in the list, then this, this, the first parameter will be empty. Then in the in the case of when the when the list is empty, then we return a num. So this is the basically 
return answer is answer yeah because if it is uh, there is no k that equals to j then this will not never be executed and then answer will be always empty and then if answer if answer is empty then we return the nums okay so we're changing one two three four five five lines into one line okay the time complexity if there are n characters in a string in, in the numbers what what what's the time complexity? Um. Oh, and where that wow, space complexity oh, one constant, right? So that if we consider, if we consider this doesn't use additional space, okay? So a oh, one, okay. But if this is needs another space, then a oh, one, okay. So what have you learned today? About that. What what in one sentence? Can you tell everybody like what have you learned today? Just one sentence. Um, about la. What? Uh, we got la number. Yeah, we got a number, yeah. In the format of string. And, yeah. and a digit to get it. Yeah, yeah another la digit. Yeah, and now what and do we do? We, uh, so we delete one of the, the, the same digits of uh, uh -huh. nums, yeah. Uh, 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 num. And then you find the biggest. Exactly. And what are number. we. Yeah, and then what's the solution? What's our solution? How uh, do we do this? Proofing? Yeah, how do we proofing exactly? Checking every possibility? Yeah, checking po every possibility of removing each digit. Yeah. If we go through each digit one by one, number. and if this digit we can delete it, we try to delete it, and we get a number. Yeah, we compare. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Bye bye. bye.